What's up nail friends? In today's video, it is a long awaited nail room tour slash organization video. So let's take this back to the beginning. I actually used to work in my house and in a very small space. And we actually have this building that I'm in now and it's on our property and it was like a garage. It wasn't level, so you can't drive into it. So it's basically just an unusable, unfinished space. So what we did was we got this space fully renovated to use for my nail space and the nail throne for now. And then when we grow out of this space, we had it renovated enough to be able to rent it out. So there's a kitchen and there's a bathroom and it is just one big room so someone can actually live in this. So that's the plan for this space when we leave. It is my filming space, my nail space, and my work office now. So now I don't have to work in my house, which is so much nicer. I love working at home, but I like having a separate space, you know? So this is like completely separate from my house and I can just get in here, be alone, and it's quiet. Anyways, so I'm gonna show you guys around. So I've got my vlogging camera here. So I'm just gonna pull you guys off here and I'll show you guys my space and we'll chit chat about what I did, how I organized this, and everything. So. So before I take you on the tour of the new clean room, I thought I'd show you a little bit of what it looked like before. It was quite messy. My drawers were completely falling apart and unorganized. My colored acrylics, completely messy. So what I did to organize my colored acrylics was I printed out my glitter bells list of colors first to start. So I went through the colors I had and wrote down which ones I'm missing, which ones I've swatched and which ones I have. And then I organized them by color. So the reason I organize them by color is just for um, a, just appeal. I just like the way it looks. And because I know all the names now off by heart, it's quite easy to find what color I'm looking for based on the name. Now I have a list of what I need to grab next time they come in for the nail throne. So for my gels, they were com also completely messy, no organization whatsoever. So I pulled them all out. I grabbed some glitter bells boxes that I had and I cut off the lid and I decided that they fit nicely in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put them inside glitter bells boxes. So I had to swatch this entire collection. I did the same thing that I did. I printed out a list of the colors from glitter bells that I need. I have stars next to the one that needs swatching. The, some of them I don't have, so I'll need to grab those next time they're in. And then here is a sneak peek of how I organized that. So once I got all my colors and glitters and gel and everything organized, then I decided to clean up my desk. So inside my desk before I had it perfectly laid out for when I have clients in, but right now I don't have clients in, so I've decided to change my desk up to make it work better for filming. So that's what I was doing here. Printing out labels on my new label maker, which I love by the way, it's actually really great. I went ahead and cleaned off the front of all my drawers, scraped off any acrylic or gel that was left on there, and then went ahead and labeled them so that I'll know where everything is since everything was moved. I also cleaned off the top of my desk. I put some fake flowers in the corner and I'm trying to create a little background for filming with my luminary. My luminary was a big mess before, so I pulled it all out and I decided I wanted to display it. So I have this little stand here. I actually got this on Alibaba, I think. I can find a link for you guys. I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but if I do, I will put it in my description box. So make sure you check there. So what I did here for luminary was I went from the 30 milliliters down to the 10 milliliter bottles, down to the five gram jar and I organize them by name so a for absence and aspire you know what I mean so I went along by that and then I went ahead and cleaned off any extra gel on the jars that I thought looked kind of bad and because I want these to look really pretty in my background so this is all I filmed of the cleaning up part. So let's get into the room tour, starting with my desk, which right now I'm currently only using for filming purposes and not seeing clients. So this is how it is set up for that. I keep this here. This is all the stuff I use when I'm creating 
quite often. So I've got my Empower Matte Top Coat. I have some No White Top Coat from Glitter Bells. I have my favorite white art ink, stuff like that. So this is my, my little box of stuff I need for creating. Over here, I keep a ton of art brushes. So these are mostly my Glitter Bells brushes, but I do have some of my other favorite brands in here like Get Buff Pro and stuff like that. I also keep, I also keep a pen, just a regular pen because you never know when you're gonna need a pen. So inside my desk, let's take a look in here. Like I said, I've organized this for content creating without clients. So when I normally have clients in, this would be completely different because I would need it for clients, but I don't need it for clients right now. So I've got my Gel X, A-Press Gel X stuff right here, and I keep all the tips in the back, the ones I like the most. So I got the stiletto, the coffin shape, and I have the new ones in there, the colored base ones. I have my red iguana hand here. So this is my favorite hand. My other hands are placed somewhere else because I'm not currently using them. I've got some tips here ready to go for my hand for creating. So I just keep it in there. In this tip display, I have one of these little stands. I've got some tack. I want to practice or anything? I have a practice tips display here. And then I keep one pack of swatch sticks here. Scrolling down, I keep papers back here. I'm not going to pull them up, um, but they are my little backgrounds. My acrylic brush, and I have this like crown stand I keep it on just so it's always upright. And then I have all my rings for my photos and red iguana hand and stuff like that. Over here, I keep my prep products and lip gloss. <laughs> I have glue, I have dehydrator, primer, and no wipe top coat, extra files, I've got glitter bells tips, and some here. This is my little nail art nook. Moving on to this is my favorite right now. I am loving the way this looks. I wish it showed up a little bit better in my background. I'm not sure if I have to just move my camera. So I got all my luminary in here. I just thought that this looked really pretty because luminary is such a small amount of product I was able to put it up here and display it plus the bottles look really cute over here I have my hundred thousand subscriber plaque and a pile of swatch sticks I'm working actually on putting uh, labels on them. So I only got one of these done so far and I have a lot more to do. So that stays under there for now. So that's just what the top looks like. I'd like to get a real plant here. I'm gonna show you guys my drawers. Look how satisfying that is. Um, and how I got to this point. So with colored acrylics, I decided to do these by um, color. And there's a reason. It's just because I think it looks pretty. So these are all my Glitter Bells colored acrylics. So in this drawer, they go from pinks to purples to blues to greens to yellows. Um, I'll show you guys some close-ups of my favorite colors in here. Um, some of my favorite ones in here include Royal Prince. It's a very shimmery, um, deep blue. I also love Mermaid Tears, which was a huge favorite of everybody's that one sold so fast every time we have that one in um other ones in here i love would be hyacinth it's a beautiful purple with glitter in it we also have dragon fruit big staple big staples lots of good colors in here i really like the way this drawer looks so that's why i'm glad i did these by color so that's what the first drawer looked like. In the second drawer here, we have in orange, gold, browns, taupes, reds, blacks, whites, silvers. And then I just quickly threw in all the core powders. What I'm thinking of doing with these, let me know if you guys agree, is I'm thinking about putting up a shelf and then using, getting rid of any of these containers and just having these containers and putting them on the shelf. So they could be in my background maybe. 
What do you guys think? Just because there's not that many core powders, right? So they would look like a pretty wall of core powders. I don't know. In this one, we have some favorites too. Soft Gold Shimmer. Ooh, I love that one. Ooh, Copper Dazzle. That one's really pretty. Liquid Gold, Liquid Silver. Those are must-have staples in your collection. So, these are growing. I don't have every single color. I have gone through and figured out which ones I have, which ones I don't have. So, I have to pull some more colors out for myself so I can get my collection to be full. I'm buying another one of these soon so that I can fill it up with some more colors. So, the next drawer is pre-mixed glitters. So, in here, I've got my Iridescent Series glitters on this half. So my one of my favorite ones is Rainbow Crush. That one is beautiful. Other favorites in here, uh, Baby Girl Crush. So I kind of did this the same iridescent into pink, into purple, into blue. Ooh, Ruth, absolutely love that one. So many good colors in here. So yeah, I definitely don't have them all either in this one, and I will finish my collection soon. But doesn't this look nice? And then I'm going to put labels on these because the labels fell off so I just wrote what they are but I don't like the way that looks. So I either need to get a sticker or make my own label for that. So that's what I'm gonna do. So that was that drawer and then this is the second drawer. This one goes back into greens, into oranges, browns, coppers, gold. And then we have some of these um, Rainbowy ones like Carnival and Fish Food, those are people's favorites too. Oh, Cosmic Crush. I love this one, so beautiful. So yeah, this room, this one has room to grow and like I said, getting another Alex drawer unit. So hopefully I will be able to, you know, have everything in, in order again. So let's move on to the Glitter Balls Gel Polish. First had all of these in this drawer. But this unit's falling apart. So I first did all this organizing in this one, but then the drawer started falling apart and I realized I needed to switch it up. So I did switch it to this one. I reorganized this over and over and over. I organized it by number. And that way it makes it easier for me because the bottles look like this. So if they're in your drawer upside down, you can't see anything. So I do it like this. So this took me a really long time to organize. Then after I got this fully organized, I missed a few colors and had to reorganize it. It's so annoying. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. So this will be really good for content creating because I'll be able to easily find something. So if I pull up something and it's like number 79, love me. It's right there. 78, 79, super easy to find. In this drawer, I have extras and room to grow. But the other stuff I have in here, is my gel paints. That's I just called this drawer my gel paint drawer. It's not really though. I have the Beamy Beauty Box Metal Leaf Gels in here. I love those, so I kept them. And I had to downsize for sure, but I definitely kept my Beamy Beauty Box because I freaking love these one coat coverage gels and they're great for hand painting, so I kept those. Back here I also have some Light Elegance Buttercreams. Those are also good for hand painting and that's why I kept them. Same with all of these Magic Gels. I also have these Spider Gels. I find them really hard to work with so I have to practice with them but I kept them based on that. I wanna try them out. I also have these Beamy Beauty Box Quartz Gels I wanted to keep and I kept the Magnetic Gels as well. So that is what is in this one. Okay, so that was how I organized that drawer. This drawer is my favorite. Even though this is falling apart, um, I decided to put all my art in there because it's not as heavy. So it doesn't really matter that it's falling apart. It was just too heavy to hold my color coats. So I put all my glitters and stuff in there and I'm really excited to show you guys this drawer. It's so organized. Let's go with the top drawer. Okay. In the top drawer, it is called Just Nail Art. Actually, I also put foil here because I have foil. And crystals here because I have crystals. So, in this drawer, I have all this art. This is like extra art. So all my crystals, I've actually overlapped them now. Um, 
because I just don't have enough space for them. So they're overlapped and they're in this. So when I need crystals, I'll just have to pull out this whole thing and go through it. Over here we have tape, embellishments, and transfer foil. So you get transfer foil on Amazon. I have so much that I had to put a bunch into storage and just keep some. So I just kept a couple pinks, a couple of rose golds, red, silver, gold, green, blue, purple, you know, just the, just the staples. And then this is a foil gel. In here we have rings of embellishments and caviar beads in the back. I have a bunch of these stickers and stuff in here and one of these little finger stands. And then in this drawer, I have all of my flowers that I showed you guys in my last video. So this drawer is kind of random. It's just nail art, random nail art. But the next drawer is more satisfying to the eye. Oh, I love this drawer. Okay, so in this drawer, this is my glitter and chrome drawer. So in here I have my brand new, which I showed you guys in my last video, my Magpie Beauty um, USA glitters. They look so pretty together, so I just kept them together, color organized. And then back here we have some inlays. You guys probably know I love these little inlays from Magpie. They're so pretty. So I got the circles here, and then I have the little stars over here, which I use a lot. I love these stars. So that's what I have there. And then in this one, I have more of them because they didn't fit all together. You have to kind of like play with these like Tetris to get everything to work. And then over here, I have some glitter from Glitter Bells. We don't actually sell these little pots of glitter, but I got these from Annabelle a long time ago, so I like to keep them because I like their little glitters. Back here, we have loose glitter, so sugars. So I got my light elegance sugar. Then I have some other ones back there. So these are just sugars you sprinkle into a wet gel. You can use them lots of different ways. They're basically just loose glitter. And then we have the clear sugars here. And then I actually have more sugars over here. So these are from the nail team. I just have a pile of colored ones here. So we have a bunch of, of those like chameleon chromes here. And I'm just gonna pull this out a little bit in here. I've got all my chromes from Magpie Beauty. And then underneath these chromes, there are pigments to make your own colors and stuff. And then I have some chromes from the nail team back here as well. In this one, I have a bunch of shapes and embellishments in the back. These are so fun. I love these shapes. There's like mermaid scales and embellishments you can stick in or on the nail. I also have angel paper that's already ready to go and I have netting imprint that is already in these just to keep it clean. So you don't have your net imprint just sprawled out somewhere. So I just have them in these little jars, which I'll link in my description box. I got these on Amazon as well, these little jars. In this one, we have some sheeps here and some Christmas ones and some neon ones. So these ones just kind of didn't, didn't go with the ones that are in the next drawer. So they're here. <laughs> and then over here, because I love iridescence, I have my own little iridescent section. I've got all my iridescent like inlays. I've got chromes, so many pretty different ones and these are layered. And then over here I have some more white chrome from Glitter Heaven Australia and then some glitters I really like that are all iridescent. So basically this is just like my favorites. And I also have foils, like gold and silver. So just my favorite little section right here. And that is how this drawer is organized. So this drawer is another favorite. This took me a while to organize as well. I color organized it. In this section, I have pinks. So these are all different brands and I put them in my own jars. So some of them I'll have the brand on it, like this one, for example. So I have a bunch from The Glitter Life. These are so beautiful. Um, I've got lots of glitter here from The Glitter Life, from Glitter Planet UK. I have random loose glitter from just everywhere. And I also have glitter in here from Glitter Heaven Australia. That's what's in these bigger jars. And in this drawer, I've got more pinks and purples. So many glitters. 
So I'll open some of these up to show you guys what they look like close up because they're just so pretty and mesmerizing. Over here we have blue glitters. So the thing is, I really want to swatch these so that it makes it easier to find my loose glitters, but I just haven't done that yet. So if you guys are interested in watching a video like that, maybe a sped up version of me swatching these, let me know and I will do that. Just because there's so many, I don't, I don't know how I would do an actual video where, because it would take too long, but. And here's more blues and greens. These are all mixes though. So some of them like, for example, this one has blue in it, but it also has purple. So you kind of just, I kind of just went with whatever had the most in it. Then up here we've got browns and bronze and gold and red and rainbow, like these random fruits. And then over here we have Christmas and more gold and silvers and stuff like that. So that's how these ones are organized. These were organized differently before. They were organized by brand, whereas now I just organize them by color because I think it looks prettier by color. And then over here in this corner is my glitters from the nail team. So I've got mine and Talia's collection. We actually have our own collection with the nail team. So mine is in the blues and Talia's are in the pinks, but I've also just mixed in the other collections that match the colors. And then over here we have gold and red and silver and black and green. So that's how this one is done as well. So I really like the way this drawer turned out. I think it looks really pretty. My next drawer is my clear jelly stamper drawer. So stamping. I got rid of anything that wasn't clear jelly stamper. Just personally like clear jelly stamper the most. There's just no point in carrying a bunch of brands when you just like one the most. So I only have the clear jelly stamper colored polishes here. So again, they're color organized. Blue to green to orange and brown, pinks, reds. I've got some spare stampers. And then over here, I've got my bigger ones and some more of those stamping stuff. Purples, reds, grays, gold. And then I have polish um, collections here that I just keep because I think it looks nice. And then we have our plates and I have a lot of plates. So I have a lot of these little clear jelly stamper plate organizers, which are really pretty because they're holographic. Ooh, look at that. So I like the way this drawer looks. It's really colorful and pretty. The next drawer is Art Inks which also include one watercolor palette. So my art inks are here. So I just keep these in here because they look pretty, but I think I might move them out because they're kind of taking up a big space in my drawer. I might move them to a different area eventually, but that's where they are for now. And then my last drawer here is my tube gel and my Light Elegance hard gels. So the reason I put this one on the bottom is because this is the drawer that is falling apart the most and this is the product I use the least. So I thought the least I have to open this drawer, the better. So I put my gel, hard gel in there because I don't really use it that much. So I've got my colored hard gels and my glitter hard gels. And then I have some little sample gels. I have some extra primers and stuff like that. And then I have tube gels. So this is from Egoista brand. And uh, basically I just wanted to keep some tube gel for if I ever come up with an idea to use that for my channel. So that's what that is here, so. So when it comes to organizing your space, what do you guys like to do? Do you like it to look nice or do you like to be more efficient for you? I hope you guys like my space. I still have a lot more to do. I have to put stuff on the walls. I need to get another drawer. I also have a closet I didn't show you guys because the closet's messy. I might update this maybe when I get more stuff in here. Or maybe I'll just do a little vlog next time I add to it. So hope you guys like this video and if you did, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell next to it to be notified whenever I post. And I'll see you guys on Thursday.